Hey guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Okay, so today we're going to do some gameplay with forwards shooting threes. Specifically, Elgin Baylor, who is the Grand Master of the Thanksgiving or Harvest promo, and Paul George, PG-13, out of position at Power Forward, who is the Black Friday Master. Before we look at these two cards, let's take a moment to clear a couple things up. Uh, the things I've been hearing today are Black Friday is only a one-day promo. Black Friday is one day. The Black Friday promo is a six-day promo. It ends the same time as the Harvest promo. This promo ends on December 2. So this is an achievement-based promo, but it's different than anything I recall seeing, at least recently. So we have coins, cash, and points. And at the end of the day, the points matter because the points are what get you all the way to the style select PG-13 out of position at power forward. How do you get those points? Well, you get them through coins achievements. You spend a certain number of coins, you get a certain number of points. You can see I haven't completed the spend 1 million coins, but was able to get PG-13 anyway. NBA cash. So you spend NBA cash, you get points. And as you can see, I spent all the NBA cash but again, if I was in a casino gambling right now, I'd be saying I'm playing with house money, right? I've got all the NBA cash I need. I don't have to worry about spending it. And I'm grateful for that. Oh, and by the way, shout out to EA and to the EA community manager, Nick, because he's the guy who gets me this stuff, right? That's it, really. It's coins, I'll get you points. Cash, I'll get you points. And then there's the Black Friday points. Now. Here's the cool part. The 82s to the 85 are all quick sellable for points. 85 De'Aaron Fox quick sells for 12,000 points, but I quick sold them, got the points, and that's what pushed me over the edge. And that was crucial because without that, I wouldn't have been able to claim PG-13 today. So I did buy one starter pack, and that gave me not only the points and some NBA cash, but a whole bunch of these chance packs. The thing about these chance packs that's good is like this one. This one is coins. That's why it says Coinucopia. Pretty, pretty tricky, right? Here you have a possibility of getting players from earlier promos. And of course you're spending coins, which is going to give you Black Friday points. Door buster or bust, this is NBA cash. Will give you a thousand Black Friday points and a 5% chance at an 83 to an 89, that would mean there is a chance, I'm sure it's tremendously small, that you could pull uh, Grandmaster PG-13 from this pack. Then we got the dealer bus, gives you 500 Black Friday points. If you have NBA cash, or if you're in a position to do that, these ones are pretty good. These NBA cash ones are pretty good because you're killing two birds with one stone. You're spending towards the NBA cash spent achievement, and you're getting Black Friday points along with that. So that's pretty much how you get the points. If you can afford it, buying one of these starter packs will help you out a lot because these are the door buster or bust and the dealer bust. You're getting 2,500 points here. You're also getting another 6,000. So if you buy this pack, and I'm not encouraging anyone to spend money, but if you buy this pack, you're not just gonna get 2,500 points, you're gonna get more like 8,500 points. Is this doable all the way to PG-13, no money spent? I don't know. I haven't sat down, I haven't tried to do the math. And what's really gonna help you, when you get that 82 Josh Hart or 83 Rudy Gay, or especially then the next one you get is the 85 De'Aaron Fox, all three of those are quick sellable and you're gonna have at least 20,000 points, more than 20,000 points, really. That's how it works. Is that confusing enough? Hey, man, I was confused as all get out this morning. I just started buying packs, you know, whatever was there um, for NBA cash or for coins, I was, I was buying it. All right, let's get to it. So this is uh, gonna be gameplay with Elgin Baylor for the first time and PG-13 for the first time and we are gonna do nothing, and I mean nothing, 
but shoot threes with Elgin Baylor and PG-13. Look at Elgin Baylor shooting. That's all we have to look at right now. It's pretty great looking actually. And then we get to PG-13 and his stats look phenomenal. His shooting stats look great. You know, I was a little on the fence when I first saw that this big power forward we've been hearing about was out of position, PG-13. I kind of went, oh. you know, after all, he's a six foot nine inch shooting guard, right? So um, he's tall enough to play power forward. Then you look at these stats and it's like 92 speed. His rebounding isn't phenomenal, but it's okay. His inside offensive game is phenomenal. His outside shooting looks exceptional. His defense, 91 on ball, 90 block, 90 steal, 86 hands on perimeter, 90 interception, 86 drawing offensive foul. That's the best combination of defensive stats I've seen on any card so far in season six. And you know, that's pretty much it, but he's a really good looking card. And so he's gonna be able to shoot, he's gonna be able to hit middies, he's gonna be able to hit threes, He's gonna be able to go to the hole. He's gonna be able, hopefully, to get some rebounds, and he's definitely gonna be able to play good, hard defense, right? Oh yeah, and he has a gold plus two athleticism boost. So the, all those plus fours on the left side, two of those are coming from the boost he's giving to himself. All right, I think we've talked enough. Let's quit messing around. Let's jump into the gameplay. Then we'll come back. We'll wrap this thing up real quick and enjoy. Black Friday. But if I were you, I'd do it on the internet. I would stay the heck away from the malls, from Walmart, from Target. Uh, just too many people, right? All right, enough social commentary. Let's do it. All right, we've drawn an 86, and he has a good looking season six lineup. So this should be a reasonably good test, I would think. Again, we are just shooting threes with Elgin Baylor and PG-13 at power forward, Elgin Baylor. Ooh, wow, oh, that was a horrible miss. Um, okay, not the best start <laughs> ever, right? Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Nice, that's an interception by Baylor on the other end. Take it. Oh no, wow, that was very odd. Zion was completely out of position, out of his zone. Um, I've never seen that happen before. All right, come on. No, we're not. We're shooting threes. Come on, Elgin. There we go. All right, that's better, right? That's better. It took us a while, though, to get our first three. So, oh, and there's PG-13 with that defense with an interception from the wing and he buries his first shot. There you go, with your power forward, right? All right, come on, let's get some D. Nice steal by Curry. Come on, come on, get it off. All right, Elgin Baylor, gonna take him from the wing. Another really bad miss, wow. Um, it's hard to get it to the right guys. It's tough when you can't shoot with your point guard from the corner, over Jokic, boom. So Elgin Baylor misses the easy shot and then hits the hard shot. All right, maybe he's a tough shot shooter, right? I don't even, another steal by Curry, but we can't shoot with him. Oh, this is killing me. <laughs> all right, we're gonna bring Baylor out to the top of the key. Lillard was all over him and he hits it. All right, so it's pretty clear that Elgin Baylor seems to be the tough shot card, right? He hits the hard shots. <laughs> he misses the easy shot so far anyway. Out to Jokic, back, oh, mismatch. Come on, Shaq, get back in the lane where you belong. Lillard against Steph Curry into Jokic. Nice block by PG-13. Those stats are paying off, right? Definitely paying off. Here's PG-13. Oh, tough, hard miss, man. Um, take it again. There we go, all right. Uh, wow, it's 15 to nothing, but we only got 30 seconds left. Come on, come on. There, wow. Uh, all right, we didn't get it, but PG-13 knocked it away. It's clear his defense could be dominating. I mean, 
clear it could be. No, his defense is going to be dominating. For three, he hits it. 18 to zip. Let's hold him. Let's hold him. Please, no last possession stuff, right? Nice steal by Curry. And no, no, what are we doing? What are we doing? See, I broke the rules and the game made me pay for it. All right, but 18 to nothing is not too shabby. All right, so we've got an 87. Ooh, this should be a uh, even better matchup. And he's got Butler, who's going to be playing at the top of the key. So, yeah. And we put Drexler in. I switched him for um, Clay, uh, just for the heck of it. I think maybe he could play better AI defense. Um, we'll see. But, yeah, I mean, obviously the shooting spot is going to be in the near wing because that's the zone Isaiah as the shooting guard will be covering. All right, let's see how these guys can do again. Once more, we are shooting threes with our forwards. That is it. So we're gonna start with Elgin Baylor. We're gonna take him to the wing and he misses bad, wow, okay. Don't understand that, it makes no sense. And then covered, he buries it. He is the hard shot small forward <laughs> I can't explain it other than that no doggone it all right we couldn't defend that one there's nothing we could do I'm not sure where PG 13 was Baylor from the wing and he buries it um, yeah so don't shoot open shots with Elgin Baylor <laughs> take contested and challenge that's my advice <laughs> Oh, no. All right. Nice rebound by Elgin Baylor. He skied for that rebound. PG-13 way out top. He misses it badly. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh, come on and move, Shaq. Killing time. AI loves to kill time. No, no, no. Not Isaiah. Doggone it. <laughs> His AI is really good on offense. All right, come on, Paul George. Take it and make it. Nice. Nine to four. We're halfway through. We've only got nine points. No, Jimmy Butler. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Uh-oh. Ooh. A miss by Middleton. Elgin Baylor way deep. That was a poor shot by me. But there's PG-13 with the rebound. So let's let him take the shot from the wing. Boom. All right, so he's looking pretty good. Baylor's a little bit sketchy at the moment, but, you know, early gameplay, who's to say? That was Jimmy Butler missing a shot. That's helpful. Once more, PG-13 buries it. This card is good, man. The combination of offense and defense on this out of position power forward PG-13 who just knocked it away. No, he didn't. He didn't knock it away. I think Drexler's the one who knocked it away. All right, we're gonna go with Baylor. Go Elgin. What in? Hit it. I don't know. I, I don't know if he's gonna be one of these like make every other shot kind of cards, but you know, we're shooting threes with power, with forwards a power forward and a small forward so it's not like shooting with a point guard I don't care what the stats say it's not like shooting with your point guard all right we need to get the last shot Elgin is down here and we need him to make it from the near wing yeah buddy all right so plus 15 not great but you know what not bad when you're just shooting with your forwards right Okay, well that was actually kind of interesting, at least it was for me. Um, Elgin Baylor, you know, hopefully he'll sort of settle in. He was pretty much a make one, miss one guy there. And, but you know, I'm not gonna be shooting every other shot with my small forward. I'd like to be able to shoot occasionally with the small forward and to rotate among point guard, shooting guard, and small forward. PG-13 is a very interesting card. Maybe the most interesting card I've seen so far this year. He's out of position. He's a power forward. He has a plus two gold athleticism boost to position, which means a plus 18 total boost to position. He's got 
phenomenal defense. He's got phenomenal outside shooting. He's got good inside shooting. We just saw that he was able to get some rebounds. I mean, he out-rebounded Shaq a couple times. So, yeah, guys, if you can get this card, <laughs> Uh, you want this card. Um, I'm much more impressed with PG-13 than I am with Baylor. But, you know, again, this is very early first day gameplay with both of these cards. So, you know, I, I'm not sure. Baylor could settle in really well. Certainly his shooting stats would indicate he should be a consistent shooter. But I could say the same thing about 90 live pass Jason Tatum and he hasn't really turned out all that consistent. So anyway, all right, that's uh, shooting threes with forwards. That's Black Friday. I hope our explanation was semi-clear, if not very clear. And uh, good luck with this Black Friday promo, guys. And again, it's six days, not just today, all right? And with that, we're done. It's over. We're out of here. There's no more. And remember... Peace out.